Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. Okay, uh, I played a uh, an episode off camera yesterday. Um, well, an episode a day in the uh, Subsistence world. Uh, managed to uh, get a little bit of um, a few nails, so I put my first railing down for the deck, and we also expanded. Um, the actual deck itself foundations across and added another wall here so the next thing to do is to carry on the foundations out this way um, we might not be able to go all the way across it depends how the walls snap into the ground uh, we'll see we'll see what we can do if not we could always close this off um, do something do something different but um, uh, actually what we probably could do is bring uh, a foundation up at this height and snap a wall then uh, vertically in that that uh, that way rather than having it sunk into the ground so there's all sorts of options that we can do uh, but I've, I think I've decided I would like to close this off we've got the other entrance and we can always knit round this way uh, if we want to uh, uh, if we want to have a look out uh, at that exit um, but that's what it looks like from above so that tree now is completely taken out of play for that hunter uh, to come and attack from this side so uh, that's all good news and during uh, yesterday uh, gameplay uh, we found out where the new hunters are the third set of hunters have arrived and they are not this rock formation uh, but if you remember there's a, a sort of a, a washout and then another big rock formation I think it's where Ono has his base uh, and the hunters have set up right on the end of there so um, yeah that's not very convenient for us because that is my preferred looting area so we'll go and have a run past them today sounds like we've got a bear nearby we'll go and have a run past there today and, uh, and just take a look at those new hunters uh, go and say hello to the neighbours. Uh, they've just got one platform up at the moment, so uh, not much going on. So we've got protein bars, we have some berries, we've got water, we've got arrows. Uh, no, no more. Oh, I didn't realise that was turned off. Silly me. Wondering why I wasn't getting any water. We've put another foundation here as well, I forgot to mention that one. I don't want to aggro that bear because I could do without him uh, damaging our base. I think we're going to have enough people trying to damage our base by the look of it. Not very friendly neighbours. So I hope you're having a good day. I'm recording this one on Friday. Um, as I say, I just fancied um, trying to get a few nails, get the building process moved along a little bit. Right, where is he? He's on the right, okay. We can scoot round. Should be okay here. Yeah, so the hunters have set up somewhere here. I haven't quite got I haven't quite got it in my head where they are just yet. But we did run past them. It was quite a squeeze to get past them along the fence, I must say. Uh I think they're in I think they're in the middle of here. The fire's sort of stuck on the side of the um, washout. Uh, and that would explain why we got shot. But we've still got plenty of room to get out and loot. Um, but it is a bit inconvenient because this is one of my favourite spots to come. Yeah, there's their fire. Can you see just in the tree there? And their platform is just up here. There's a single platform. They haven't, they're haven't. not very established just yet. At least we know we can come down this way and carry on uh, our normal loot run that we normally do. Of course, we do still need to be careful that... Uh, there you go. There's a better view of the, uh, of the fire. Bit of a stupid place to put a fire. But you can't uh, tell these hunters anything. Right, we've got seven nails now. 
so we need to do um, a loot room. We need nails. I uh, want to get the his foundations in place and try and get this area sort of sealed up around our deck. Um, I'd like to make some um, railings if I can. But there, yeah, there's their fire. So at least we can come and get a look at them now and then, see how they're getting on. And they're very close. I was wondering um, when we would see them. I thought, quite wrongly as it uh, turns out, that they were further in the Red Forest, but uh, yeah, they're much more in my face than I was expecting. Uh, we've got a rabbit over here. I think we'll uh, try and grab you if we can. Oh no, he's going out of view. Sure, we'll come across another rabbit. Uh, we've got to think about where rogues might be again. Oh, that hunter's quite close, isn't he? Oh, is there three? I think there might be three hunters. Yes, there's three hunters at that camp now. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not a battle to do with just a pistol. So uh, let's keep, um, keep well out of their hair. So in fact I feel a little bit better now about looting down in this area because I know now we've got one base, uh, we've got one on the right hand side of our base and then we've got one in that direction. So down here where I was worried there was a hunter camp for the moment appears to be um, fairly uh, empty. Uh, there could be rogues of course so you know, we've got to be careful of rogues. Uh, I'd like to get all those fibres there, but I'm not sure if they're too close to the hunters. And I'm also not sure if they're too close to that wolf. <laughs> and there's a bear over here. Oh, I'm just going to go for it. I mean... Oh, you know what I thought I heard then? Whoa! Yep, I got too close. Oh, hang on, maybe not. Maybe that was them attacking an animal. Pretty sure I heard a, a, the cocking of a gun, but, you know, there's a lot of funny sounds in this game. Um, We could have been too close. It's really difficult to tell. Right, we've got a crate up there. And I haven't seen many other crates, so I think I might go for that one. Oh, these hunters. Oh my word, and there's a bear. Oh, there's another crate that way. Um... There's a crate up on the right, and a bear, or a wolf, one of those things, a level one wolf, god it's really close, let's go for this one and come back, good decision, because there's one here we can grab, another shotgun shell's nice. We've got this one here we can get. Wow, these hunters are really turning out to be quite challenging. But I'm glad the third one has arrived now. Right. So we had a crate on the right down here somewhere, didn't we? On the side of the hill. There was that bear, that wolf that was a bit too close to get it here. He's still hanging around. It looks like he might just be wandering off for a second, so 
Let's see if we can grab it. Oh, lovely. Some cloth. That's always good. Okay, we'll head over this way. So this could turn out to be our new loot run because of the way they... Oh, is that another crate over here? Nope. Damn fern. Right, we need building crates. We need the nails. I'd like to make some um, railings if we can. Oh, there's a, a, a rabbit walking towards us. Let's see if we can grab you because we're running out of food. We've still got enough for today, I think, uh, but obviously we need to uh, keep that replenished. Oh, we've got another wolf. But I'm going for that crate if we can. Yep. I'm having that one. Building crates. Oh yes, lovely. With a few nails. Oh, and uh, an ammo crate. Good stuff. Nice. So I feel a little bit better coming down into this area now. There's the uh, there's the other lake. We'll just have a quick look over here. There's a building crate down here. Of course, there's a wolf hanging around as always. Oh, look at the flowers in this area. They're beautiful. Very good job, Call Games. I really like this map. It's incredibly nice um, detail. And the visibility um, across the different areas is, is fab. Well, it was a strange noise in my ear then. Just being careful here because you can't see a thing over the top of these hill, little hillocks and mounds. Very clever little area. Very dangerous to run run around in. Everything seems to have dried up, loot-wise. Oh! My goodness me! Um, hunter camp. Through the trees. Well, he's quite established. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm not quite where I thought I was, which is a little bit worrying. I'm in danger of uh, stumbling into uh, into um, <laughs> into danger here. Oh my god, there's another one here. Look at that. I'm really close to him. I'm going to grab a screenshot though. Because you know, what, what, what am I doing? <laughs> oh god, and there's the one on the right. This is like Hunter Central. Okay, I better get back out of this area because this is like the worst spot I could be. How many hunters is that? Uh, oh, and there's another... What? What's going on? How many hunters are on this map? Um, I need to watch this back. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Here's my base. Am I just looking at the same hunter camp from different angles? 
That was a pretty stupid... A stupid thing to do. But also I'm kind of glad I did it because I got to have a look, a little bit of a closer look at these um, pesky hunters. Hmm. Well, while we're doing stupid things, why don't I take you up here and show you the uh, the other hunter? Oh dear, oh dear. You know, it, it felt, it really felt like I was surrounded by hunters there. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't go down that way to... Um, to loot those hunter camps. <laughs> oh, let's eat an apple. Let's drink a berry water. Uh, we've got one rabbit, and I think we've got three rabbits back at the uh, at the house. I'd like to keep those unless we desperately need them. I might grab a few logs while we're out. There we go. Use the right key. Yeah, I've only got a pistol. I mean, I'm not going to stand a chance. Well, I can't say that wasn't interesting, having a look at all their bases. They're very established. They're probably prime for a, a raid now. But there are a lot of hunters and just one of me, so... Um, that's probably not going to happen. I think the, probably, if I'm honest, um, I'll have to get the SVT and the shotgun built before I even consider raiding those guys. And um, if they come to me and try and raid my base, then and I manage to kill them safely. Then I'll uh, I'll definitely go and blow up their their door. Definitely. Okay, let's have a let's have a look up here. I'm going to stick right close to the fence because they are pretty close. And uh, I have run past them once and managed to do it without getting spotted, but wasn't uh, it wasn't pleasant I right, can't see them there yet and I'm not kidding they uh, they look quite formidable could they have been rogues or am I getting the places mixed up again let's have a look they could have been rogues but they've got jackets on so and there was a platform so I don't think they were necessarily Hmm. Unless rogues are now wearing jackets. No, there they are. There's their base. Wow, look how close. Yikes. Hello. If I raid him, he's just going to come back and raid me anyway, so it's probably not worth worth doing right now. All I'll get out of it is um, the glory of having killed him but anyway let's get back hopefully without getting spotted but I think I'm far enough away. Can I hear running? Apart from my own running of course. I wasn't looking at you, you can't come after me. Yeah, I think I've got away with it. So we can still run past and go uh, go in that direction. So it's it's not all bad, but my God, it was a bit of a shock when I ran up there and saw that uh, platform. And that does explain that uh, those shots fired at me the other day.
Yeah, so that was fairly exciting running through the uh, the hunter area. It felt like there were about five different camps. So perhaps looting down in that area isn't the best thing I could have done. I wonder if you can see the uh, the new hunters from the top of this rock. Let's go and have a quick look. Uh, probably on this one. Probably the highest point. No, not yet. I think they're a bit further round. Maybe, maybe there somewhere. Have a look up on this bit of a peak. I can almost oh I'd lovely I'd love a ladder that you can go up and climb up onto the roof. Like a rope ladder or a step ladder, you know, one of those uh, on the side of the building. Let's have a look from up here. It's a pretty decent sized uh, rock on this one. The base is looking pretty nice. So this fence here, can it's completely sacrificial, it doesn't matter if they destroy that one. But I'm just wondering about how to uh, put that wall across the bottom there, I'll figure it out. Excellent, okay, um, look at that crate down there. Hmm. Okay, let's get back in and we'll do a little bit of building. Um, I'm in my house, leave me alone. Okay, we've got the uh, well going now, so uh, actually let's feed them, feed them and water our uh, plants upstairs before we do anything else. We've got anything in here to put away. Um, Let's go in the other one. Feathers. Feathers stack to 100 now by the look of it. We've got one set of all. Um, cloth. We've got some cloth. Uh, we've got some seeds. And all of these nails. That's pretty nice. Got a little bit of wood left there. Probably got enough to um, definitely make a couple more foundations, but um, possibly to make the um, shotgun. Okay, let's go and see how the food is doing in the uh, grow beds. <gasps> Stuff's ready to pick. Got some more cotton. That's really good. This has gone really quick. What have we got here? Another cotton plant. Um, let's put the food and water in first and we'll go and have a look at what seeds we've got upstairs, uh, downstairs. So we've got another three cotton and two tomatoes. How many tomato seeds do we have? Right, okay. Definitely do more cotton than we can anything else. I'd like to do some tomatoes. Do a couple of tomatoes and we'll put them with the cotton in because we've already got three and then we've got four of each. Uh, we don't need to eat that yet. Um, oh, lovely. The water's just uh, finished. Right, let's put this stuff away. So for padded cloth, uh, we'll make another one. We've got uh, two now, three. Uh, that'll be another one on the go. 18 tomatoes, doing well for those. Um, let's eat a couple of berries. We'll put the water away and the feathers. Um, right, can we make... We need five padded cloth for that, for that, but we could... Oh no, we still need five for the uh, heavy duty pants too. So I'm saving this padded cloth then for heavy duty pants, I think. Yeah, I think so. Heavy duty pants, we'll make those first because we've already got the um, combat vest on and then we'll make a heavy duty t-shirt which will need another five. 
Oh, actually, I'm being stupid. Hang on. Padded cloth. Oh, we can only make one anyway. Okay. There it's another one. Okay, seeds in there. And we've got one rabbit. Probably going to have to cook those. So we've got eight. So we've got four padded cloth. So one more and uh, we could make the heavy duty pants and it will give us some more protection. Get rid of these. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Um, put the extra ammo that we managed to uh, acquire away. Uh, we could make some more shotgun shells or we could make some more pistol ammo. We're doing okay for SVT. Haven't found any 44 for a while. Okay, um, we will start doing some refining. Um, let's have a look at the building outside. What do we want to do? Do we want to put the railings in or do we want to try and get this area sealed off? The wood foundation. I wonder if we'll be able to get it back. if we place that. Mm, okay. Let's see what this looks like as we're trying to uh, trying to place it. So we've got that one there already. That looks like that's in the right spot. Um, will that let us place a wall though? No, that's not in the right spot, in fact. Hang on. Wow, that's underground. I have no idea if that is correct. I'd imagine it is. Let's try this wall, then. This is going to be a bit awkward to uh, try and place. Because we can't see exactly where it needs to go. And in fact, the height of it might mean that the hunter can see above it. So that would be interesting. Let's see if we can get it to snap in. Is that right? Yeah, shame it's the wrong way round though. Let's just move it. <laughs> and there's a tiny gap here. Hmm. Okay, we'll move this. We'll just turn it round. better. I know what we could do. I know what we could do. Okay, how about this? We'll put, we'll try and put a wall in there later on. Um, not too sure how the foundations are going to work there, but what we'll do is we'll put a set of stairs up here. Uh, so we can actually see above this wall. And I'm hoping they'll actually snap into the top of there. We'll see. We'll see. That could be interesting. Yeah, that could be very interesting. So we're actually out of logs and we need to cook these. Uh, let's have a go with these stairs then. So push them. Mm, need a foundation. Oh no, it works, it works. Okay. So, um, platform here, and then some stairs coming down this way maybe? I mean obviously we can't do that right now, but that will give us um, a square platform there against which we can put a wall, and we can block the lower part of that in as well. And. We might be able to put a wall in because we've already got this foundation underground. Oh, can I move that um, foundation that's down there? I wonder if it would let me. 
I'm not getting any move options. I think it's that one, isn't it? Is it? Ooh. This is interesting. I'm not sure if we can get that to snap where we're uh, where, where we're after. Okay, hang on then. So in the daylight might be easier. What we might have to do is put sort of like um, maybe a quarter half wall or something in there. Or maybe even put some foundation stairs in. But I do like the idea of having those stairs in order to get up and look over the uh, top of that wall. Hmm. I might have a mess with that um, in the uh, in the daylight. Um. Yeah, okay, let's have a quick look. So we've got this foundation finishes. It's so awkward to see in the dark. That one finishes there. That one finishes there. Mm, I can't tell, I can't tell. We'll have a fiddle with it in the daylight. I think you can see where I'm going with it though. Right, let's cook some food. And we'll grab a, a fuel brick as well. So that was a pretty um, interesting day, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, I'm pretty reckless, in fact. Was it the uh, greatest uh, move to go running right past those guys? Quite so close. But I think we've uh, we've got away with it. We're going to need a bit more food for the look of it. We've got nine cloth now. Let's wait for that cotton to finish and we should be able to get our t-shirt or the uh, the heavy um, duty pants. So I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.